salad prep, okay? I want this to be kind of a, maybe like an ongoing thing. Let me just check in. Nobody's here yet. So I didn't announce this. That's probably not the best way to do a live stream, but anyway, I'm gonna tarry on and we're gonna make some salad. Let me get the, the lights are on. Okay, so we're gonna make some salad and this is kind of a Sunday tradition. I do some kind of a meal prep something on Sundays. And can you hear me by the way? Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me by the way? Yeah, okay, my audio is fine. Okay. Yeah, okay, my audio is fine. Okay, so Sunday. It's Sunday. A lot of us are getting ready for the week ahead. Sunday. And one of the things I want to really get in there and get into your habits is get, getting more vegetables in. Um, I talked about AIP in a past video. I do, an, I do something called AIP, but I don't think that's for everybody. However, I do think that everybody should be eating a lot more vegetables. So um, a salad prep is something really easy that you can do on a Sunday because you don't have to necessarily do a whole big, huge meal prep. You don't have to cook every bite of food you're gonna eat for the whole week. You don't have to cook a bunch of chicken and salmon and all this stuff. However, I do really encourage you to get to cooking your, or prepping your vegetables. That's a big hurdle for us. In the middle of the week, when you're in the middle of a lunch break, the last thing you wanna do is come to your cutting board and chop up a bunch, a bunch of vegetables. So if you prep your salads on Sunday, you'll be good. Um, let me see who's here. Hey, hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. Hey, Aiden. Yeah. All right, we got, we got Dana and Aiden here. Okay, and by the way, I've got my laptop right here, so I'm gonna check in, I'm gonna cut and check in. And also, if you guys have any questions, please do feel free to leave them in the chat and I'll get to answer them. That's part of this, that's part of why I'm doing the live too. Okay, so let's get started. This, the salad prep. I'm gonna start with the containers. You might hear some squeaking off camera, and that's my little pup, Samson. He's squeaking over there. So I've got Rubbermaid Brilliance containers, not sponsored. I love these containers because you can see through them and they stack up beautifully in the fridge. They look awesome. Um, it, it just looks more organized. It's just more clean and put together. Unfortunately, the lids don't lock together, but that's okay. Um, these are my favorite Tupperware, but get yourself some nice big Tupperware and we're gonna fill both of these up today. The greens that I'm using are Samson. Chill, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna be using some organic romaine. I'm gonna be using some organic arugula. And I get, this this time around I got this stuff from Trader Joe's. And I've got a few days left on these, so I figured I might as well get, get some use out of these. I've got my spring mix here. <laughs> you guys can't see, but my dog. <laughs> uh, I'll bring the camera over at some point, but my dog. I mentioned this before, he's got a toy in his mouth and he likes to push it against my butt and boop my butt as I'm doing stuff like this. Hey, Brenda. That's another Brenda. I never meet another Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Dana. Dr. Maria. Hey, Dr. Maria. Nice seeing you. Um, I love that there's another Brenda in the house. Bren Brenda, Brenda Tau Tovar, Brenda Tovar. Um, Brenda, have you met another Brenda in person? I had one Brenda friend in high school. And other than that, I've, um, it's Brenda's got a baby from the Tupac song and those are the, and Brenda Lee, the singer, Brenda Lee. Okay. So, um, also before I get ahead of myself, let me break down what is really important when you're making salads. Um, and when you're eating anything, your, your meats, your vegetables, your oils, your, your seasonings, even your seasonings, it's important to rotate while you're eating. So we're getting a vast variety. So if you make salad one week with, let's say today I'm using a bunch of, I'm using some purple cabbage, carrots, radishes, some beets, some cucumber, some jicama. Um, I'm also gonna use avocado after when I'm ready to eat it, but I'm just using, that's what's, that's what's happening this week. But next week, it'll be a very different array of vegetables. So make sure when you're making your salads, you're switching it up. Hi, Nicole Avilas. Hi, Nicole. It's good seeing you. Thank you for stopping by. I'm really glad you're here. Okay, so the base is 
We're, here, here's what we're gonna do. And this is why I decided to hop on here and do this live, because it's so easy. Getting your salad preps is super easy. You just take your greens. Somebody asked me what I always have on hand. And I've always have on, I always have on hand some stuff to make salads with. I also always have on hand a spring mix. Um, spring mixes, can you guys hear me okay? Two Brennan's in high school and nothing since. And I'm in my 30s. Exactly, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Uh, purple opinion. Brenda, did you hear that Dan McDonald is banned off your YouTube, off YouTube for misinformation? Said, no, I didn't hear that. I'm not sure who Dan McDonald is. It's not ringing a bell. Um, if, yeah, I, I didn't hear that, but um, okay. So, so we've got the spring mix in there. And one of the reasons I like spring mix is because you can use it in your smoothies. You can also use it in your salads. It's just a versatile mix. Um, that'll come, I like to get the plastic containers at the supermarket that comes like this because there's a big blend of different greens. So we've got spring mix, we've got arugula. I'm gonna get some arugula in there. And by the way, the, the compounds that give these things their color, green for instance, that's chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what gives plants the ability to take in the nutrients from the sun and give itself energy. And then we get to eat chlor this magic chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is so good for your cells. Um, okay, so I'm putting arugula and spring mix, and now we got romaine. And I, when I get my vegetables home, I cut the ends off of the romaine, and I rinse it off really well down the center. That way, when I want to use it, it's not a big hassle. So I'm going to also cut this up. Where's my knife? Here's my knife. Another tip, guys, this is important. This is a little, little stuff, but it's important. Um, this is a sharpener and this is a knife. And we tend to, all of us, leave the sharpener like in the drawer and not really use it. If you're using your sharpener, you're just gonna have a much better cooking experience. So make sure that you're sharpening your tools. Make sure all your tools are just in line. And this is more me talking to myself than it is um, to you guys, but... Um, Okay, so now, I hope, so I'm seeing how blurry I am. I'm super blurry in this video. Can you guys see me okay? Um, this is my first time ever doing a live. So let me know if you can, you can, can you see me okay though? Ada, Aiden Cruz says you can hear me, but can you see me okay or am I super, super pixelated? If I am super pixelated, I'm not sure how to, yeah, I am not sure if anybody is, is if anybody is familiar, um, hold on, just bear with me for one second and let me see if I can't make some kind of adjustments here. Um, let's see here. No, I, I can't, I, I don't know that I can make any adjustments. It's, I'm just going to have to... I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to leave it the way that it is. I'm kind of a perfectionist, but I'm gonna leave it the way that it is for right now. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up my romaine and pop that in my dishes. And then we've got this trifecta. We've got the arugula, the spring mix, and the romaine. And that is going to give a variety of texture. It's going to give a variety of flavor. It's going to give a variety of nutrients. And then we've got our carrots. So I'm going with the rainbow carrots. These are, you can find these at any grocery store. The little rainbow carrots. I like using the rainbow carrots because, um, hey Maya, it's good to see you. And thank you, Lisa, that you can see me clearly. I'm not sure what's going on, but so I'm looking at myself on the YouTube monitor uh, and my laptop and it's just looking a little, little blurry, but it's good to, good to hear that you guys can see me okay. Okay, and hey, Maya, I missed you guys too. I really did. Um, I don't know if you saw my, my video, the anti-inflammatory meal prep episode one. I posted that video about four, no, it was more like 10 days ago, maybe two weeks ago. Time is an illusion. Um, but I, in that video, I talked about where I've been, what I've been up to, and some of the things that I've been um, doing and learning. And um, 
anyway, I missed you guys too the whole time. And every, all the time I was always like, I'm gonna get up, get back up to posting videos, but it just was not the right time. It just didn't feel quite right. I wasn't ready to, I wasn't, my cup wasn't quite full enough. My cup is overflowing at this point. So I'm really glad to be back. Thank you, Maya. Okay, so um, I'm using these baby carrots, but sometimes I also will use um, the, the big old giant carrots. I wanna also mention that I've got a mandolin here and that's important for your salad prep. So you're gonna need a chef's knife and a mandolin. I'm talking about the mandolin right now because usually I have a big, sometimes I use a big old giant carrot and I will just mandolin be careful and watch your hand so you don't chop your fingers off. But I'm gonna be using a mix of, of hand sliced stuff and mandolin sliced stuff. And that also gives a variety of textures and, and that's the name of the game. Um, I feel like it's much more, that's the whole point of a salad, right? Is like that variety and texture and flavor. So next week, I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking you guys. I really want to start posting grocery lists on my community, on the community tab in my YouTube. Have you guys go to that, to go to that tab on like Wednesday and then maybe we can meal prep together. You get all the ingredients and we meal prep together on, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or something. Let me know what you think about that. Um, it just kind of hits me as like, that would be a nice way to spend a, a Saturday or Sunday. We can all chat together, meal prep together. I can kind of talk you through why we're using what we're using. It's kind of like cooking class. I mean, next time we, we might do soup or we might do some smoothies. Um, okay, and so I'm just gonna talk you through my, my process. So carrots and carrots. This is why we do a big giant meal prep with salads and why I do this with vegetables because I'm chopping carrots anyway, might as well keep chopping and just throw them in three big, huge Tupperware containers and call it a day. So there's that one and be generous, use a lot. Um, did you know, did you guys know? Oh, I'm so glad Maya, that's, that's great to hear. I'm so glad, I'm just gonna check in for a second. Yeah, yeah, I think it sounds fun too, Dana. Uh, Marina, I love this idea, great. Why have I never thought of using a spring mix for smoothies, just spinach or kale? Yeah. Brenda, you're gonna love it. The spring mix is actually kind of sweet. There's like a sweetness because there's baby lettuce in there. There's a mix of all types of sweet little butter lettuces. Um, I really enjoy it and I think you will too. Okay, so now I'm using, I'm getting a beet and this, look, I know you guys, beets aren't for everybody. It's not everybody's jam. Beets are very hit or miss. I like beets. Also, beets are great for your, for your liver. They help your liver to detoxify. So I'm gonna put my mandolin on one because I don't wanna overdo it on the beets. And you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my uh, Julian peeler. So this is a peeler that's got little teeth for those of you who don't, who aren't familiar. Um, mine has a bit of jicama in it or something. <laughs> Don't mind, don't mind that, um, but it's got teeth on it. And what this does is when you, when you dig into your vegetables, it slices them into little slices. And that's great for salad prep because then you don't have to julienne with a knife. Um, talk about a hassle. I, I, look, I'm all about hard work, but I, however, don't wanna spend my life julienning anything with my, with just a chef's knife. Is anybody with me? Do you, uh, do, do you feel me? Like who wants to sit here and peel like stacks and stacks of beets and, and then look, and then it's great. Then, then you've got, it's just, beets just really add a special something visually, but it also gives a really nice flavor to it. And um, the dressing for today, by the way, we are gonna make some dressing. The dressing is gonna be balsamic and I'm gonna show you a, really great way to make balsamic that will knock your socks off. So stay tuned for the dressing because that's very important also. I'm gonna do this to both. And okay, I'm in Texas, you guys, and the produce in Texas is ridiculous. 
It's so beautiful. I moved here from Chicago about six years ago and the produce is just incredible. Um, so, so like I was saying before, you want variety and with something like beets, they've, they've got golden beets and purple beets, red beets. So you want to get both. If I use purple beets this week, if golden beets are in stock, I'll definitely do those next time. And that's that. Okay. And this is also great for carrots. You want to shred some carrots. Um, those are the two main things that I can think of right now that I use this for. I wouldn't really julienne anything else that I'm doing today, but it's great for beets and carrots. I'm going to set that right there. I also got this Little Italy's. This is a microgreens mix. Uh, this is something that I really feel amps up the nutritional value. These little microgreens, alfalfa sprouts, anything sprouts, it's got something called sulf sulforaphane. And sulforaphane is a compound that helps your cells get rid of old junky cells. It helps your body to get rid of old, old junky cells. Um, sulforaphane is a superfood. Um, again, sprouts aren't for everybody, but these are, so when you go to like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's also has microgreens. Um, there's, there's three different varieties or four different varieties typically of this brand, the Crisp Farms brand. Let me get up close so you can see this. So the Crisp Farms brand has about three varieties. They've got a Make It Mighty, they've got an Asian variety, and then they've got the Little Italy. The Little Italy is a little bit more mild and it's not so spicy, but if you want more of a kick and you're doing a little bit more of a savory vibe, definitely get your, um, get yourself the Make It Mighty one. That one's got kind of a kick. There's also little things like beet microgreens. The beet microgreens taste like beets. It's wild. Okay, so now we've got that. And, and as you're going along, when you're doing your salad preps, you just give everything a quick toss. Okay, now we've got, I don't wanna get overcrowded here, so I'm gonna set my carrots aside. Now we've got radishes. Okay, and if I'm being completely honest, so far, this is pretty much what I do every week. So I said I change it up all the time, but that's not necessarily true. I pretty much will always do carrots and some kind of three blend of greens and some microgreens, and I'll usually do some beets. <laughs> but the rest of this stuff is kind of, it always changes. So I've got cucumbers, and I like to use a mandolin for cucumbers. These are the little Persian organic cucumbers. And I love the mandolin because, look, it's so fast. And I also don't like a big, huge hunk of cucumber, and I tend to um, just cut them too thick when, when I'm cutting them with a knife. So I use one of those in each container. And these are, these are also great in smoothies. Side, side note, these are also great in smoothies. If you want um, some smoothie hacks, I might do a video about some smoothie hacks. I did one years and years ago, but I've got a lot more information to offer at this point. Um, okay. So that's looking pretty good already. And if you wanted to stop there, you could stop there, but we're not stopping there because I've got stuff to show you guys. I've got some extra goodies. I'm going to give you, um, by the way, I'm going to give you some replacement for croutons because that's something like we need something crunchy in a salad. And I, um, I understand. I totally get the appeal to croutons. Come on. My little sister, <laughs> she's going to be mad at me calling her out for this. But I've, so I've got a little sister who is my best friend and I love her so much, but she doesn't, she doesn't like fruits or vegetables and her favorite thing to order for a long time. I don't think she does this anymore, but for a long time, she would order just a plate of croutons we, we, at the salad portion of dinner. They'd say, what kind of salad do you want? And she'd be like, just croutons and like, well, and she's like literally just a plate of croutons. So that's my sister and I love her so much. Never change. Okay, I've got celery here and I've got two ribs of celery. So what I'm gonna do is one for each. And, um, and this I'm cutting on a bias because everything tastes better on a bias. Everybody knows that. So cutting that on a bias, okay? 
and I cut pretty close to the end. I, 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 I honestly, you could eat that Y part. I just don't. Um, so that goes in there. And what I was saying earlier that I didn't, I didn't finish my thought, but I wanted to say the average amount of vegetables that we all need to be eating to get, to get our cells healthy is about eight servings every day. And that's a lot. That's a lot of vegetables. Um, it seems like a lot, but it's really not when you start doing stuff like this and you throw in a salad for lunch, you have a smoothie for breakfast, and you do some kind of steamed veggies or um, roasted stuff for dinner. That gets you right at about eight if you're having a nice big portion of everything. And that gives your cells the nutrients they, that they need. Um, you know, I, I'm just kind of laughing at myself because I remember I remember being in middle school and thinking everybody that I saw that was like talking about fruits and vegetables was kind of a health nut and somebody who's like excited about fruits and vegetables, like whatever, stop it. But it to me, it is very exciting because this is the stuff that gives us the energy to live life, you know? Um, and it's like simple little things like we're just making salad today but this salad is going to fuel your cells for, you could, you could eat enough, um, enough nutrients to hypothetically, if you didn't have food afterwards for like, if something happened and the food supply got lost, you would still have this nutrients built up in your cells, but to do this every day, you're giving yourself lots of beautiful food and it's just gonna help your body feel better and just help everything. Okay, so now we've gotta put the cabbage and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of cooked cabbage. I am, however, a lover of raw purple cabbage. And raw purple cabbage, there's, it's, it's not much for, it doesn't have much flavor. There's not a whole lot of flavor in purple cabbage, but the texture and the color is incredible. And also, if you use this to make like a salad slaw, um, that's also fantastic. I'm gonna just slice up a little bit. You don't need a lot. You just need a little bit. And, okay. And now I wanna show you, oh yeah, before I do that, it's really important. This is something I think every salad needs. Every salad needs, you have to have some kind of onion. If you're a person that any of this, that any of this does not resonate with, that's okay. That's totally fine. But I feel it's even sometimes great to do two kinds of onions, like a red onion and a green onion. Today I'm using spring onions. I'm using two in each salad. So I'm also cutting this on a bias. And it would be good if I had a garbage bowl, but I didn't, I didn't really plan ahead. So I'm just kind of winging it. And hopefully you don't mind the extra Samson, Samson's getting at the mic. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry guys, this is live. No, 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 don't eat that. He's, he thinks everything is for his mouth. Nope, leave it, leave it. Good job. <laughs> Please don't eat the mic while I'm doing a live. Hold on, let me show, you, show him to you, you guys. Ugh. Here, look, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Samson. Look at you. You can see the top of his head. That's a little troublemaker. He wants to eat everything. Man, oh man, you leave it. Don't eat this and he will eat it. Believe you me, he'll eat it. Okay, so let me make sure you can see me. Leave it, leave it. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now, I want to show you, um, oh, we got to do the other, the green onions for the other salad. Okay. Samson, you got to leave it, buddy, please. Okay, green onions, chopping up, going in, going in. All right. And what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Let me know what you guys are having for dinner. Samson, no. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. This is live. Ah, okay. Okay. Leave it. Samson, you leave it. 
<laughs> Let me just check in on you guys. Yes. Hey, SV. Elena. I, yeah, it smells really good in my kitchen right now. Um, yeah, it really does. I, I love I love the smell of fresh, just fresh food. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys really quick. I'm going to show you guys um, something that people don't get into much, but I want to get you onto this. Let me know right now how many of you guys are into jicama. This is a jicama. Anybody? Anybody? Chicken and salad, and it was good. Now I'm having some tea. Beautiful. Hey, CJ. Thanks for coming by. Thank you so much for being here. Carla, Carla's having chicken and salad for dinner. I love it. I had chicken and salad last night for dinner and it was bomb. Okay, so here's a jicama. SV loves jicama. Love jicama. Yes to jicama. Yes, I'm team jicama too, man. With lime. Yes. Yes, I love, I love it with lime also. Yes, I'm team jicama all the way. And as you guys know, those of you who love jicama, not a lot of people love jicama. Not a lot of people use jicama, but we're going to use some jicama in this salad today. And for those of you who are watching this later on who don't use jicama, I'm just going to show you really quick. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just going to show you really quick how to cut a jicama. You're just going to, you cut the tops off and then you kind of go around this jicama happens to have a really soft skin, but you can't peel it with a vegetable peeler. The skin is just too husky. It's kind of like, um, it's got a thick husk, so you do have to cut it with a knife. And I'm not always the most precise at getting the skin off, but I usually pick a large jicama for that reason. Okay. All right. And if you guys have any questions um, about anything at all, anything at all, anything that your um, health and fitness stuff, any life stuff, hit me with your questions. I'm I'm here to serve. I'm here to I'm here to help. And we're we're gonna take Q and A at the end too. I'm gonna take like five or ten minutes to just sit down with you and just answer questions. Okay, so now we've got the jicama peeled. And I'm just going to cut that in half and then I'm going to cut some bigger pieces like that. And then I'm going to cut that into slices and then I'm going to cut that into cubes. <laughs> this is um, a very professional cooking, cooking video. You're like, I would love to be able to get you closer and we'll get you closer in a minute because I want to show you how to make savory coconut flakes instead of um, croutons to replace croutons. Okay, so now we've got jicama in there. We've got cucumbers, we've got onions, we've got cabbage. And the last thing I'm going to put in there is really quick, I'm going to put a radish. Um, and, I'm, and I like to use my mandolin for radishes too. So just a couple rainbow radishes. And these are the beautiful rainbow radishes from Trader Joe's, which are amazing. Um, they come pre um, with the what, with the leaves already off, the pre um, processed, I guess they're not processed, but they take the leaves off. If you happen to get radishes with the leaves on, save those radish tops and put them in the freezer and put those in your smoothies. All right, and we've got one last little bit, and then we're going to go to the stove really quick because I want to show you a really nice trick with coconut flakes. Okay. So there's our salads. And this is, this is about two big salads. This is also about two big salads. And now I'm going to show you how to do, oh, and I've also got olives here. So I usually put these olives on. I'm going to save these for a little bit later because I'm not sure if I'm feeling like putting those in right this second. But if you like olives, put some olives in there. Now we're getting into like the toppings. Avocado. Avocado helps with your digestion of all the soluble fats, the fat soluble vitamins in your salads. So definitely get an avocado in there. Um, but I don't like to chop that up and put it in the salad before I'm gonna eat it. So this is just a reminder. I put this out here for me to remind you 
to get some avocado in your salad. Now, I wanna show you really quick some savory coconut chips. And this is meant to replace your, um, hold on one second, let me just unplug you. Okay, so this is meant to replace your croutons. And come on over, come with me. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you up a little bit higher. And I'll, I'll move you, I'll move you around. I'm gonna move you around a bit and we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so these are Trader Joe's coconut flakes, unsweetened coconut chips. But you can find any, any old coconut chips, anything that you can get at Whole Foods, you can get these at any grocery store most of the time. Um, I like to get the big ones. They've got the shredded coconuts. However, I like the big giant flaky bits because they just hold up better. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've got my pan, okay, and I'm gonna, um, let me see if I can, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put you this way and I'm gonna pop you like that. There we go, that's better. Now you can see me. Okay, great. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got my pan and this is literally gonna take one minute. And I promise when I tell you that this is just as good as croutons if I mean it. This isn't some health nut telling you a lie. This is real deal stuff. So I'm putting my, uh, my, um, I'm putting my burner on a, medium, on a medium heat. It's right at the medium mark. And I'm gonna pop these, and I'm gonna make about that much. Ah, I'll make a little bit more, that much. Okay, and now I'm gonna put some spray avocado oil, or I'm sorry, some spray olive oil on there. And we're using spray olive oil because I'm out of coconut oil, but it doesn't matter, any oil. But I also feel that the olive oil gives it a little bit more of a kind of Italian feel, okay? So I spray this down. There are recipes online for roasting. Um, you could definitely roast these and make like a nice coconut flake, uh, toasted coconut chips. However, when I'm doing this, when I'm making kind of like a pseudo crouton or like um, tortilla strips, some people put tortilla strips in their salads, uh, it's not as good. So definitely get it in a pan, spray it down with, with spray olive oil, and then you're gonna use some salt. So we're gonna just lightly coat it with some salt. We're gonna get our spatula. We're gonna also use garlic powder. I've got some garlic powder here. This is actually minced garlic, but use garlic powder. And I've also, okay. And I'm gonna give this literally two minutes. So while that's cooking, let me go ahead and get to your questions or comments. Come on with me over here. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I've got some comments right here. So let me see. Top chat. I'm so sorry that I don't know how to do this yet, but you live and you learn. That's, that's how you, that's how you learn. You gotta, okay. Okay, jicama, that's the jicama stuff salads. Hey Dana, Veronica, love the grocery list idea. Thank you. I really think that's a great idea, don't you? Um, okay. What's on the meal prep? I'm late. Hey DJ, or is it CJ? It's CJ. So today we are doing, if CJ's still in the house, today we're doing a big old salad. Let me show you what we got so far. So far we have a couple of salads, some big Rubbermaid Brilliance containers filled with um, assortments of greens and some beautiful cabbage and some celery and some green onions and some radishes and some jicama and some beets that were julienned with our vegetable peeler. I'm also gonna put, while we're waiting for our coconut chips to toast up, I forgot something very important and that's the flat leaf parsley. And for me personally, I just feel like something's missing if 
I don't put flat leaf parsley in my salad, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I don't, I don't, I don't have to be precious about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some flat leaf parsley in there. Okay, and now it's coming along, and you just watch, the, these coconut chips are gonna toast up in no time. And I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Hopefully you're having a perfect Sunday. Hopefully your Sunday's amazing. Here in Texas, it's finally under like a million degrees. The summer was so hot and it's finally not hot. So that's nice. Um, okay, let me check on the comments really quick. And we're also gonna get to salad dressing. Ordering these containers now. Yes, let me show you as you're doing that. I'm gonna show you guys how much I love these containers. I love these containers so much. That's pretty much all I use. They've got the six cup, or is this a four, 4.7 cup. They've got, I've got some glass ones, but you don't need the glass ones. I really do have a lot. It's like 50, 50. This is a 3.2 cup. These are so good. And I'm going to be doing a fridge organization video. But um, before, I, in the meantime, yes, get those. They're super, super amazing. And these are almost done, these coconut flakes. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're just making some coconut flakes, some toasted savory coconut flakes. And um, to be honest with you, I had a very ambitious, I'm looking to see which set is best with the containers. You know what? Um, what I like to do is, Hey, um, um, Elena, I'm doing so well. I hope you're doing well too. Um, so SV, the best set with the containers, what I like to do is I've been kind of acquiring these over the past couple years. I've had these for years and years. Um, what I like to do is order kind of piecemeal. So I'll say um, those big ones, I, I think two of those will get you by. And then some of the medium ones, I'd say maybe two of those. Just see how that goes and then you'll see you know, what you need to order from there. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well too, everybody. And, um, we're almost, we're almost wrapping up. We're almost wrapping up. We ha we do have to get to the dressing part and almost done. This is getting like toasty, right? Okay. I think I'm going to give this like maybe 20 more seconds cause it cooks up fast. And then we're going to make dressing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this into a ramekin. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. So now these are crispy and toasted and savory and delicious. And you can flavor these however you want. I, I personally like to go with the Italian vibes. So garlic, Italian seasoning, and then we get something like this. It's like toasted flaky, crunchy. You got to let it cool off though, because this won't get crunchy until you let it cool off. Okay. Now we're going to make dressing really quick. So we're in the dressing phase. This is very important. Um, let me set you right here. Don't mind the open cabinets. If there's any open cabinets, there's always going to be open cabinets in my house. Okay. We're going to wrap up with some salad dressing. So I've got balsamic vinegar and I'm going to use about, let's see here. We've got about six ounces. Eh. We'll call it half, half of a ball jar of balsamic. And then we're using about the rest, the rest of it. So it's maybe two parts, two parts balsamic and then three parts olive oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our garlic powder. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I never measure, so I'm so sorry. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't really give measurements. That's because I kind of eyeball things and then I taste as I go. And I'm also gonna put some chopped onions in there. These are great for topping your salads with also, um, any brand. This is Hill Country Fair brand, which is like an off brand of HEB. And then we're going to pop in um, some coconut aminos, which I didn't have ready, but now I do. 
Okay, coconut aminos going in. Okay, now we also need salt. And I'm gonna throw in some folk salt. This is like Malden salt. And that's maybe two pinches, <laughs> keeping with the, the not measuring. And then we're gonna finish that with the immersion blender. Um, oh, and you know what else? I'm so sorry, I forgot. This is important, but um, some Italian seasoning. And I use this a lot, this, this McCormick Italian seasoning. Okay, so now we got our immersion blender. This tool, this kitchen tool, costs about 20 something bucks. And I use it at least four times a week for something, to make soups, to make um, dressings, mostly to make soups and dressings, but I also do a zucchini cheese sauce, which I might post on the channel. And so now, um, you don't have to have an immersion blender for this to be a great dressing. What you could do is you could put a lid on this and call it a day and just shake it every time that you wanted to, um, you know, have your dressing. That would be fine. But what I'm gonna show you is the emulsion process and the emulsion process makes it like a creamy dressing. So you'll, you'll watch it um, kind of change color. It's gonna get a little bit lighter. See? And I just, it takes maybe 10 or so seconds. Eh, it's probably been more like 30, I don't know. Again, time is an illusion. And that's, that's it. Now you've got a creamy balsamic. It's not separated, it's, it's totally emulsified. And this is like when you go to the grocery store and you see these dressings in bottles for like $9.99 or something. There you go. There you go. That, and it's going to taste better. And it doesn't have sunflower oil or canola oil or whatever junky oils that are going to clog up your, your cells and cause inflammation in your body. And when we're talking about inflammation, when you're making your own salad dressing, that is a really easy way to get flavorful, budget-friendly, anti-inflammatory healthy fats into your body that tastes really good. This isn't just for salads. This is great for meats. This is great for dipping. If you want to have like a crudite or a dipping sauce, um, really good for that. So get into making your own salad dressing. I really recommend it. And also really important when you're making your own salad dressing, I highly recommend grab some lettuce and just test it and see how you like it. If it needs something else, if it doesn't, this needs a little bit more oil because it's not it's a little bit, I put a little bit, um, it's delicious, it's really good. But for my flavor, for my preference, it's a little, it's got, it's got a little too much kick to it. The balsamic can be a little bit tangy. So I'm just adding a little bit more oil. And, and that's it. And let me taste it one more time. That's better. So good. Super good. So delicious. It's sweet. It's savory. It's um, creamy. There's a creaminess to it. I really like that. Um, okay, let me make sure there's nothing else that I forgot. The, I, I, I had a whole other set of ideas that I wanted to show you this evening, but they're going to take way too long. So I think I'm going to cut it there. Um, those are, let me just show you the finished product. There's the beautiful salads, and let me just show you what. Here's what I'm. Here's what I do want to do, because I'm gonna have dinner, and this will be part of my dinner. Um, so let me make this salad with you really quick, and just show you kind of my process and what I like to do. So what I like to do is I go in with clean hands. Okay, I go in with clean hands, but I do go in with my hands. I don't use salad tongs. That's just my vibe. And I put, you know, I'm putting some salad in a bowl, but here's what I wanted to show you. Um, okay, so then we got this dressing. I need a spoon and a fork. So then we get this dressing. I'm gonna take a spoon. I'm going to, this is just gonna help us kind of measure. 
So I've got about three tablespoons and then I've got my fork. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to toss it together. That's just gonna get everything all combined, but don't dress your salads until you're ready to eat it or else it'll get soggy and not great. And then I'm gonna pop some olives on there. Like I was, I was saying I wasn't sure if I want olives, but I kind of always want olives. So I'm gonna put some olives on top. Okay, and then I know the olives for some of you guys are like, oh no, you just killed it, but I kind of love it. And then I'm gonna put some avocado on there. I'm gonna also use some of those coconut shavings. And how much avocado I like to use, I like a quarter of an avocado. Excuse my knife work. Um, so I like a quarter of an avocado and I peel it off like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and slice those slices right into my salad. And if you were, if you missed earlier, the avocado does help your system to, to digest the fat soluble vitamins, very healthy for you. Then I've got some salad in the, or I'm sorry, not salad, chicken in the fridge. I'm also gonna pop some of this on, some of these onion flakes and some of these coconut shavings. These, can you hear how crispy? Let me get this by the mic. See, these are, these are like crunchy, delicious, garlicky Italian flakes. I'm gonna pop those on top. And let me toss this really quick. And um, here's why I like, really quick, really quick, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Hold on, hold on. So I've got some, okay, I've got some chicken breast. So this is a chicken breast that I meal prepped about a day and a half, two days ago, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop that, and that's gonna be dinner. So, and then we've got, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly it's how long I've been at this, but now I've got salad for about four days, and I've got dinner for tonight. And that is, that my friends is salad. Um, this is the non-YouTube, <laughs> not edited version of the salad. Um, I do a whole bunch of, work to make this food look pretty if I'm gonna be doing it for YouTube, but you're my friends and you're just hanging out on a casual Sunday night. So that's salad. And don't forget, don't forget to top your salad with some flaky salt. This is the Falk salt. Get a nice beverage in there and let me take your questions. Let me take your questions. Oh, and the, okay, there's no, there's no questions. I don't think there's any questions. I think we're good on questions. Thank you, Aiden, I'm so glad. Thank you guys. Yeah, CJ, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, all right. Yay, okay, cool. I'm so glad. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me and talking about salad with me. Oh, I love this. I love that I can have um, community that I can make some salad with on a Sunday. So um, let me know, let me know in the comments of future videos, if you have any meal ideas that you, that you would like to see prepped. Um, also, while you're here, let me know what kind of, really quick, for those of you who are still here, please let me know what kind of food, what kind of food do you eat that you find hard to resist? Like what are some, some foods that you, for instance, some people are really into pizza and they're like, I just can't give up pizza. I can't give up potato chips. I, I'm really good. I might, one of my specialties is giving you a healthy alternative. So let me know if there's something, oh, cold weather, bread. Bread's a good one. Man and water, bread is a good one. And I've got your back on bread. Um, sweet and salt, salty, crispy snacks. Okay, I'm with you on that also. Asian sauces and noodles, anything sweet, anything crispy and salty. The crispy and salty one, I know you're not gonna believe me, but this is kind of these coconut flakes. I mean, this is just, that's not it. That's not my answer for you, but this is, this is definitely good. Pasta, oh, pasta. So you came before you leave, pasta. I love the pasta one and because you're here and because I'm, you know, you're in the inside scoop, I've got pasta ideas for you really quick. 
I've got the Jovial Grain-Free Kosova Spaghetti. This is fantastic. And Kosova root is very healthy. It's got, it's got plenty of nutrients. It's not devoid of nutrients. It's not enriched with bleach and, or I'm sorry, it's not enriched with, um, it's not, basically it's not devoid of nutrients. Kosova root pasta. That's the Jovial brand. It's, it's excellent. And I've also got Trader Joe's Hearts of Palm pasta. Those are really great alternatives for your pasta, but I've got other, other answers for you. I've got, I've got other tricks up my sleeve. French fries and potato chips. I got you too. That one I'll save for a video. I've got a, a really nice couple hacks for French fries and potato chips. Burgers and milkshakes for me. I got you guys, I got it all in my back pocket. Like I got, it's like, I'm one of those clowns with the handkerchiefs. I've got so many the, of these uh, food, food replacements. If I can make a video request, remember the one you did with the binder on how to reach your goals and go back each week and recheck your progress years ago. Maybe you can make an updated video. Yes, I would love that. And SV, um, by the way, if you go to my website, brendaturner.com and you click on programs, I've got a free dream life workshop that, that also has a planner in there. And that actually does have like a step-by-step -step it takes about an hour to do the whole workshop, but that will take you step by step through all the process. Um, also, like I said, it does have a free planner in there, so you might like that, but I also would love to do a video like that too. Um, pizza, pasta, anything Italian. And um, I, lo I love, I feel you on the pizza. I feel you on the pizza. If the good Lord came down and said, hey little lady, what do you want? <laughs> Would it be so bad for me to, for my answer to be, hey, look, I want to be able to eat some pizza with impunity and not get terribly sick and have autoimmune issues. That would be awesome. I would love it. But we're not there at this point. But however, I do have some ideas for healthy pizza. Don't worry. But I'm with you. I love pizza. Um, tacos. Interesting. Okay. I love it. Pizza makes me feel sick, but I still eat it. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's funny. Rice. Yes, I love that. Okay, you guys. What I think I'm going to do is also, there's just so many, so many things coming in the works. This channel is going to be filled with new stuff and lots of good content. But what I want to do, I think right now, idea is I want to start getting a poll up and maybe we can do a grocery list once a week, kind of do a meal prep like this, and also um, have you guys let me know like what kind of food you want to prep. Do you want soup this week? Do you want some kind of taco or something? Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what kind of format this takes place. Thanks for being here though for tonight. I got I got my boss telling me it's time to go, but thank you for being here in this kind of hot mess of a live. Um, this is my first ever live and you guys made it so awesome. So thank you so much for being here. I'm, I'm going to get him outside, take him for a quick little walk, and then we're going to eat dinner and wind down for bed. I hope you guys have some, some really great something tonight to fill your belly, something healthy. And I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video during the week. Thanks so much for coming out, you guys. Thanks for being here with me and I'll see you later. Let's see if I can figure out how to end this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh,